Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or a big welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Carla and I'm so excited to share today's video with you all. This video is going to be my large pantry organization will be a huge improvement and transformation. And today I'm so glad to share with you this journey step by step with tons of ideas, motivation and inspiration if you also need to organize your spaces in a very practical and easy way. But let me tell you about the behind the scenes of this huge project because since I knew we were going to move to our new house I've been badging, gathering and basically hoarding all the containers, canister, racks, basket and all we're going to be using in this video. So this is a project that I've been planning on doing for a while and I'm so excited to finally be taking care of it. But before we get started, I wanted to take you all guys in a preview of what I'm dealing with in here. So welcome to this pantry hot mess. When we moved to this house, I just wanted to take stuff out of the boxes without getting any organization. So this is the result of us just throwing food whatever we can or it will fit. So the first weeks living in this house was the most tedious trying to find all the things seasonings I usually cook with or grabbing and storaging back the snacks. So organizing this space will definitely improve my daily basis routines in the kitchen and even it'll make much easier for everyone find something or simply grab a snack and then putting them back. So definitely make sure that you watch until the end of this video because you are going to be watching an extreme before and after transformation. But in order to keep this video the easiest for you, we are going step by step. So the first step is taking literally everything out of the pantry so have a completely empty space to work with. Spices, condiments, canned food, cookies, chips, flour, cereal, drinks, all out of the pantry. Grabbing whatever I can fit in my hands and carrying to the kitchen and just sitting on the countertops, I still had a lot of products in the boxes for the moving process. And once I got this pantry cleared out, this is the empty view. So let's move on to the next step that is cleaning, dusting and wiping down all the built-in shelf surfaces. As you can see the mess of crumbs and food on the floors that was left, I'm using Mrs. Mayer's multi-surface cleaner and the rose scent that also made my pantry smelling wonderfully. you see in a few seconds this area was so messy that the wall was also dirty with a lot of food or drain stains I'm getting stronger you think that my bed's getting cold but it's feeling warm your lies are getting old but I'm getting stronger I'm getting stronger cause I'm fine all right, all the shelves are clean now and I'm gonna vacuum all over the mess on the floors. Then I'm coming to steam up to make sure this space is completely clean and sanitized to start filling and organizing.
next step, I'm going to start opening up all the bins and containers and removing all the labels on them. That way I can wash everything before I can start to fill it with food. But since there are too many containers, I just filmed a few clips of this part. But let me tell you a little bit about my journey trying to get at this part of finally organizing my pantry. I previously made a big research for the items that suit the better for my needs and of course my budget along with the quality. So after a thorough research, I decided to go for some items from Walmart and Amazon. Um, I was uh, trying to find something in a great quality but still affordable when it comes to clear containers. So I did save all these items in my Amazon store and you can find the link in the description box below. But definitely I know containers like this can get really expensive especially if you need a tons of them like my case and therefore I took my time to find better options out there for my budget and I thought and maybe also helpful for you. Alright guys, now let's move on to the fun part, I think the part I enjoyed the most in this whole process. So I'm going to start with filling the containers and I'm starting out with all the cereals segment. For this purpose, I bought two different types of cereal dispensers. The big one that you are watching now is for the cereals my kids eat the most and therefore I usually buy in the family size presentation. And the smaller cereal dispensers are for those cereals my kids love but eat in less quantities, which I tend to buy in regular size so therefore I needed smaller dispensers which I also can save money instead of buying all big sizes the labels i'm using are from amazon and i also will be linking in the description box below going through for the snack section filling all the containers with all the snacks my kids love i'm using those containers with the handle that you need to lift up in order to open the lid and put it back to close for my for my opinion are very convenient and even very easy for the kids to open it when they want to grab a snack by themselves and then put it back. I prefer the system rather than the others you need to push the button on the lid to open and close it. I have both type of containers I bought uh, a few years ago and the push button lid got broken after a few months of use and then the one you need to leave the handle are still working perfectly well so therefore uh, in talking by my own experience I decided to fully go for the lifting the handle system I'm not going to be labeling every single bean since probably later I may be using some of them for different purposes In my personal situation, I would like to 
tell you a little bit about me in my story in my personal situation i did not have a pantry in my previous house and i used to store the boxes of food items or snacks in a small space under the stairs by the entryway hallway so that I was super excited about having a large one or a large pantry in our new house and I actually when knowing we finally were going to be able to go and move to our new house started immediately to buy containers for it before we even finish our house owners process and moving. Um, but having a large pantry is also a big challenge to keep it organized and then well maintenance. So that before moving, I got mentally prepared to be in this one of the first projects I was going to tackle in this new house. But talking about getting ready to tackle this type of projects in your home, I also have to say that you definitely can find more budget-friendly options out there like Dollar Tree Storage or Organizer which you can perfectly create well-organized and beautiful spaces in your home. But the main reason why I decided for those clear containers I'm using for my pantry is because the ability to see through the clear material and getting a wide range of sizes to use them for different type of food. So I try to find the, the beans uh, and organizers that can fit in my daily life for more convenience and budget but also the quality was good enough for the everyday use i also have to say that i bought the exact quantity of them i was going to need in this project in order to optimize my budget These Lazy Susans with dividers are amazing for holding snacks like cookies or individual small snacks. I ended up using a couple of them in our pantry but in this one I'm putting some snacks out cookies I like for the kids lunches or breakfast and it holds so much. I put in here the entire package and having all that in this container it, to eliminate so much packaging because I usually buy so many of these cookies and also makes so much easier to see actually what you have in if I already need to add to my grocery list it's also fun to spin around and it's something I really like to do I know this could be a lot of stocking and restocking but I just wanted to take you all through this massive process and also probably could be so satisfying for many others to watch and knowing that this was going to be a huge process, I didn't any intention to finish it in one single day. This pantry organization took me three days to finish and during that time my kitchen was a real mess with all the stuff on the countertops and on the floor around the kitchen until I finally started to stock everything in the pantry and that keeps me very committed in finishing this project as soon as possible to get rid of the clutter but I hope that you guys are getting the same motivation if you are also thinking on organizing your kitchen, your cabinets, your pantry and as I said before there's no need to use the same containers you also can find more affordable ways or just trying to do the same I did
are arriving to the goal in last step for this video i have everything in the proper bin container or basket and i'm starting to placing everything back into the pantry well organized and restocked as you saw it i think this was the easiest part to go with since i already had planned on my mind each section how i want it in my pantry and I'm going to be telling you how it's going to be my system in the pantry in hopes that this can help you as well just in case you are in the same process or you are thinking I'm doing the same. The first section in the middle right will be for cereals and bread and as you can see the lower shelf will be for all the snacks and that height my kids can perfectly reach them and the lowest shelf is for the chips snack size chips and all the kids drinks and uses also thinking on my kids can reach them easily without they climbing to reach something else I 
keep on missing your touch, missing your vibe. Then keeping us at the right side at the upper shelf and placing all the sprinkles for desserts, baking and the ice cream. Besides, I'm adding a turntable lazy susan to add the butter for popcorn and dips without opening for snacks. Moving to the center side, starting by the upper shelf, I'm placing all the pastas. At the lower shelf, I'm putting the flour, pancake mix, sugar, and other relatives. I'm also doing a last minute quick change to match better the labels, making them visually more aesthetic. Next, moving to the left side, I'm placing all my spices and canned food. To do that, I'm adding a very affordable canned rack I found in Walmart. Don't you miss me too. Give it all you got, babe. Give it all you got, baby. I rather try to lose you. Give it all you got, baby. Give me all you got Still keeping at the left side at the lower shelf will be the dressings and sauce bottle section. Besides, I'll be adding the sweeteners and to do that, I'm using the very practical turntable lazy Susans. Still working at the left side at the upper shelf and adding and placing the oil bottles and oil spray I used to cook. At the floor level, I'm placing some vegetables and platinum bags and some fruit. I'm not being strict in organizing this food in this first pantry organization, but I would love in my future pantry organizing adding some cute basket for each type of food, either veggies or fruit. At the center shelf in the pantry, I'm placing those super practical and affordable white baskets with the solely purpose of storaging the remaining bags or boxes of food and also for the extra items. The main purpose of placing them right in the middle is that every time I'm planning my grocery shopping, I can quickly see what items I will need to add to my grocery list. I found that really pretty basket. I immediately love to storage the paper towels. As you can see, it fits a whole six paper rolls pack. In the last toe shop is adding this area rack I already have, but it fits the pantry hallway pretty well and it gives a cozy look to this place. 
We finally are arriving to the best part. Let's appreciate the before and after of this pantry transformation. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and I got tons of ideas, inspiration and motivation to organize, clean and care of your home spaces. I always appreciate your big support and company in every video. See you in the next video. Bye.